Today I'm going to show you how to create and change uh, the contact form in MobiRise. So what I have here is this is a new MobiRise project and I've just inserted the default contact form as a, as a block. And because we're going to be working with the HTML, you want to set all of the parameters for this block uh, that you can and that you want to set. Things like uh, right now I'm going to change the background uh, image. So you want to set some of those parameters because once you edit the code, you cannot go back and use the block parameters. So that's one of the limitations of the HTML code is that you lose some of the automated uh, block parameters that make it really easy to make changes. So let's click on the block parameters and I want to add a background image. I don't want that image so I'm going to click here and we're just going to add this one. Okay. I do want the overlay. So I'm going to click on that. And that's fine. You can make it darker or lighter depending on what you want. Five is fine. So for me, this is all set up to be exactly like I want it. Actually, let's change this button. You'll find that some of these are actually, this uh, form is still going to be. Uh, able to be clicked and changed once you get into um, the HTML part, but there are certain things like the background that you won't be able to change anymore. Um, make sure that you set your form options like you want it. Set the email, set the success message. And then once you've done that, then you can open the code editor. And once you unlock the HTML, HTML editor, there's really no going back to some of the other functions like the block parameters. And it'll let you know that. <clears throat> do you want to unlock it? If you do, you'll not be able to work with the block parameters. And this does not affect the other blocks on the page. So this is what we would call a self-contained block. So we say yes. And now we have our HTML code. Now to get this form over here to take up half of the page on the right hand side, all we have to do is go down. You see the first row, columns 12, and then there's an next row, small columns 8, and then a column offset by 2. This is the part that we need to change. And all you need to do is you need to make this, because now it's two thirds of the page. We need to make this half. So we do that by saying six columns. So on a small screen, uh, it'll be six columns. On an extra small screen or like a, a phone size, an iPhone size, it'll stack. But on the small screen, it's going to be six columns, which will mean nothing on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side will be your form. And then if you do the column offset, what this does is it pushes, well, I'll show you. If we only change it to six, and we look at a preview, you can see that it doesn't move quite where we want it to. So this would be the form. We want the form over here. So in order to do that, we have to push this way. We have to push this empty space and make the form go over to the right. So the way that we do that is we click here on this column offset. Right now it's at 2. If we change that also to 6, then this is what we get. So you can see that it's offset. It's pushing it to the right by 6 columns. So that means that it's over to the right, 6 columns. Okay. So now we have our contact form here. We can still go through and make some changes. I told you some things remain editable. You could do sign up today. You can still change the parameters here. But you can see that you don't have any option to change uh, the form. So you want to make sure that the form says what you want it to say or you're going to have to do that in the code.
So just go ahead and set everything like you wanted before uh, you get into the code editor. But this would allow you if you had a, an image, a background image with the main part of it over here, you would be able to have a nice image and then very easily just push your, uh, your contact form over to the right. Now I'm going to show you a more advanced technique. So let's say you wanted a background image, but you wanted some text or something over here. So what we would do is I've already set up an example for you. I'm just working in uh, the Atom code editor. It's from GitHub and it's a free download. And what I've done is I've copied the text from MobiRise. So I've copied all of this HTML. I've gone into my text editor and I've actually reformatted it. You'll see some uh, different parts of it here that are the same, like the sign up today. Uh, this is an alert. Thank you for filling out the form. Uh, this is the actual form. I have not changed anything about the form. I've not changed any of these. All I've done is I've reset, um, I've reset some of the containers, this uh, row right here. And I've created it to be, uh, for small, it'll go down to 12 columns. And for a medium, it'll actually go to 8 columns. And then that'll be on the left side of the, uh, of the screen. And we'll have a nice heading, we'll have a subheading, and then we'll have some text. And then to the right, that's where we're going to have all of our uh, form elements. And it, on a medium screen and up, it'll be four. So it'll only take up one third of the space, basically, on the right hand side. And then the text will take up the majority on the left hand side. <clears throat> So this is all just some custom code that I created. I'll actually make that, I'll put a link to this uh, HTML code in the, um, in the bottom part of the video, in the description, so you'll be able to see it. Let's take this and we're just gonna copy it and paste it into MobiRise. So we just want to <clears throat> select all. And then we want to paste all of our new code. So our new code is in here. And then let's take a look at it. I used a, a different background image, actually. <clears throat> so if I can move this a little. OK, so we can see it now. It's still a parallax image. So still when you scroll it, it moves over the image. We have our form over to the right again. If you want to make any changes to the form itself, you'll have to change some of these, um, some of these elements. Set the form like you want it to be before you do any of the HTML. Although some of these are still, you can still make changes here. This is our text. You can see on a large screen it takes up eight columns, and our form takes up four columns. Now to change the text, you're going to have to go in. I've set it as a H1, H3, and a P tag. So if you want to make changes to the color and make it white, you would say something like H1, H3, and P. And then you would do just merely color, white, and then it would change the way that this presents. So well, that is uh, pretty easy. If you wanted to add images over here instead of text, you would just go into your HTML, and in this in this uh, divider. Within this div is where you're going to put anything that's going to go on this side. If you want an image, you would just put an image here. 
you would have to take that image and link to it to an outside source, or you would have to um, take the image and link to it within your uh, files in your website. You would have to make some connection there with the image or use a URL for the image. But uh, essentially, whatever you want to put over here, you can put buttons, you can put images, you can put icons. Whatever you can connect to and put into your website, you would be able to put in this area here. So that is creating um, creating a form on the right. This would be like a landing page or a splash page form. And then some text or whatever you want to put on the left-hand side. If you have any questions, you can always email me. My email is brian, B-R-I-A-N, at highwaywebconsulting.com.